Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new episode on how to make a game like a Battlegrounds game. And in today's episode we will be going on and doing the block breaking attacks. So we will be defining if a attack is going to break a block or if it's going to be blockable. So in subscript service or in replica storage, here we have the character module with all the characters inside and the abilities. Right? And in the abilities we have different module scripts, which are basically right here. And we want to add a functionality and pretty much yeah check if someone is blocking. So if we go play right now, you can see that we can also block with F, right? So that's pretty cool. And if we check in our player right here, we can see that we have a blocking attribute and we can change this attribute. And this dummy here also has a blocking attribute. If I go to the blocking dummy, it has the blocking attribute somewhere, I think here. No worries, oh, here blocking value I mean because when I hit him it's going to like yeah block it of course so and here it's just normal so what we want to do is we basically want to check if someone is blocking and then just yeah test it like to find if it's going to hit or not so can do this for some abilities like you only have to implement this for abilities that you want to be blockable and for the abilities that should just penetrate a block you just don't have to add this code so we can actually see how we did this in our server because in the the hit function is basically the complete same because we check if it is a yeah if it is a block or not so in the hit here we check well we check this on the client actually so let's go ahead and open the client up and check in here so let's go to the input function and check if the character is blocking so here, else, if not blocking, so just get the attribute blocking. And yeah, for dummies, we just get the, okay. I get it. Do we do? Okay, so for the Street Fighter kick, we can just do it as an example. So for the hitbox to touch here, we get the parent of this, and we get the target, which is just hit the parent. And we can check if if players can get player from character, or we can check if target dot parent is equal to workspace dot dummies then local blocking is equal to target dot blocking dot value I think it's blocking or maybe it is is blocking but I think it's just yeah it's blocking so then we get this value and we can define local blocking up here and then just set it to this and else you can just do blocking is equal to players con get player from character then just get the hit dot parent and then home get attributes and then we get the blocking and this is the blocking and then what we can do is Yeah, we can just 
go in here and then just do yeah we should probably also do this in here and then what we can do is if not blocking then and then just apply the effect right and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Alternatively, we could also apply the blocking effects in the stun module, which we can do. So we can go in here and put an else um, in the stun module dot blocking hit effects blocking, and then we just put the enemy character in there. So let's try it out. And we get the Street Fighter's kick. And if we just hit a normal dummy, it works as normal. So just as we hit a normal dummy, of course, because the blocking is, of course, false. We didn't print it, but yeah, it's false. And when we hit this dummy here, you can see that the blocking VFX appeared and nothing, yeah happened. What if we change the character to like the salt master and we use R splitter you can see that the dummy is still getting affected by our yeah R splitter and in the metal fists because we normally punch this is just getting blocked as well but yeah so the R splitter Again, breaks the block, and the soul frame strike also does. So yeah. Then we can do this as an example for some other abilities too. So we can go ahead and... Yeah. Let me, let me change this for the... For the salt master for one ability or two so i don't want to have the the soul frame strike should be blockable so we can just copy it from the street fighters kick so we can copy this here or maybe we can also get the blocking to here and then just copy this so it's easier for us to copy it and then we can go in here and scroll down till we see the effects here, apply effects. And then we can go here and check for the blocking, get players. Again, you have to define it up here, players. And then we can go back. And then what we can do is blocking all we can do if blocking then and then else we did this and here we can do stun module dot hit effects blocking for the target and yeah we can publish this to roblox go with play change our character to the salt master and try out the soul flame strike here and of course he blocked it and did not get any damage but again the splitter will still get damage on the dummy so yeah we can also do some preparations for the next episode already because we are kind of finished for this episode now but yeah, since we want to preload all the animations for every character, so what we can do is we can go on the server and we can get a function, we can create a function called local preload animations, or we can just call this preload for a player. Of course, local function preload. 
and what we want to do is for underscore every module in characters folder come get children do so now we are in this folder here a characters folder where's the characters here characters folder here and now we get every module here and then what we can do is local required module is equal to require module we can also check before if module called is a module script and then we can recover this module and then every module you can see the animations here right so we want to load all of those animations and then just play them. So what we can do is we want to go ahead and do local animations is equal to required module and this will be dot animations dot animations and then for underscore animation in pairs animations do and we can do for name come animation if name is equal to so we can get punch animations punch animations and then and else we can do can first of all load the so local character is equal to player dot character and then local humanoid is equal to character dot humanoid and then we can do else humanoid com load animation and then we can do rbx oh yeah we have to create an animation so local anim is equal to instance.new animation and then we do anim dot animation id is equal to rbx asset id column slash slash and then just put the animation here and then we can load the anim in here so this will do so if the name isn't is equal to punch animations then we do something else and else so for those four here for idle walking land and blocking we will get the animation here and put an rbx asset id in front of it so we will create a new animation with this and then we will load the animation for the humanoid and if it is equal to punch animations then for the ability num for my animation or like punch animation in pairs name do and then we can just copy the anim here paste it in there then we get the punch animation in here and then put the anim here and yeah draft this works so we can copy the preload thing here scroll down to the player edit then check for the character edit and then load the animations here for the player we can play the game okay table expected got string Oh, of course, we have to put animation there, sorry. So we want to go in here and do an in pairs animation. And now we can hit play. Yeah, so this pre preloads all our animations. As you can see, it's very smooth now. So when we switch our characters and just punch, it is completely smooth. We can instantly punch, like, yeah, and instantly hit our animations here. And if we 
well, remove this again. So if we go in here and we scroll down and we just comment this out for a second, you can see that for every hit, it takes like a millisecond to load the animation. And after the first load, it's smooth. But you can especially see this on moves. If I press 1, it loaded the animation. Especially if I switch characters, it takes a whole while to load the animations. Right? So, yeah. That's why we preload all the animations for every move, for everything. Well, for the moves, we haven't preloaded them yet. We will do this probably in the next episode. But yeah, now that we preloaded all the animations, it is way better, way smoother, and just, yeah, overall better for the player. And yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you all for watching this video, and see you in the next part. Bye.